Hey guys, today I thought I would do something a little bit different than usual and I would go through my YouTube analytics with you. I thought it might be a little bit fun for you guys to see what I see. I know that I get curious about what other YouTubers are making, how many views people are getting, and so I thought we could just have a little bit of fun. I apologize for the vertical video, but I am going through the Creator Studio app, which is an app that I have on my phone, and it lets me link to my YouTube analytics. So if you've never used this app before, what we're looking at right now is the dashboard. So at the top, you can see a little overview of my analytics. Then you can see the three most uh, recent videos that I uploaded. And then at the bottom, I can see the most recent comments. Shout out to Alex. She left me a love your channel, I subbed. A comment which means she's probably looking for subscribers so usually I mean I wouldn't really encourage that kind of comment but YOLO it's there so let's just uh, let's be friendly say hi to Alex Lynn um, and let's get into my analytics so the first thing that we see when we go into my analytics is just an overview now my real-time views you can see um, in the last 48 hours I've gotten 790 views this is not the largest amount of views that a person can get, but I also haven't posted any videos in the last couple days, so there's no real spikes. It's just, um, it's just a really average amount of views, and if you look at my um, last published videos amount of views, you can see that it's really um, not substantial. Like, my most recent video is the Just Your Average live stream that had 13 views in the last 48 hours. So really not a ton of views. If we look at my watch time in the last 28 days, which is the standard amount of time that they default give you in your analytics, you can see that I've had about 39,000 views. An average day has about 1,400 um minutes of watch time and let me correct myself the 39,000 is minutes of watch time um, if we go back that corresponds in views to about 12,000 views and about 400 views per day which is pretty fun and if I go and I look at the last 365 days you can see that it's definitely increased. Now, is that a super steep increase in number of views? No, but there's definitely a little bit of a curve going up, and that's what we like to see, especially since what I do is I stare at data all day, and we're looking for trends, and that was definitely an upward trend. If I look at the last, if I look at my average view duration, in the last 28 days, my average view was 3 minutes and 12 seconds. In the previous 28 days, it was 3 minutes and 1 second, so that's going up probably because I've been doing more live streams and then a live stream because I make them 45 minutes to an hour long it, it will result in a longer average view duration for the people who actually sit through them which is always incredible to me um, in the last 28 days I have made uh, $14.98 off of YouTube which is probably the number that you guys all came to see because that is just um something that people are probably pretty curious about. So if you want to know, in the last 365 days, I've made $145 on YouTube, and in the lifetime of my channel, I've made $286 on my channel, US dollars. However, as we're going to see later when we go into the revenue tab, I have not ever actually cashed out any of the money that I've made on YouTube. If we look at my subscriber count, in the last 28 days, I've grown by 130 subscribers, which, you know, if you compare me to a giant YouTuber, that's not a ton. But for me, that's amazing. Although it does say it's down by 13% as compared to the 28 days prior. So not super amazing. Only one day in the last um, 28 days where I had a negative subscriber growth. If we go, um, I don't know, 90 days. Ooh, it says something went wrong. Well, let's try that again, shall we? Um, yeah, so you can see in 90 days, there is one, two, three, four, five days where I had a negative subscriber growth, which is really good. And there are some days where I have over, um, around, uh, about 10 subscribers. That's awesome for me. Like, go me, power to me. Thank you. This is me just bragging right now. You're probably, um, either thinking, wow, that's amazing, or wow, that's lame. But I don't care. Um, we can see that most of my views come from people who are not subscribed. So this is the point where I tell you, hey, maybe you can subscribe to my channel. Just a little reminder. Um, 
I don't know. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. And it does make me happy. So if you want to be a subscriber and contribute to the subscribed watch time, that'd be nice. Um, people do seem to like my videos. 92% um, of people, or there was a 92% like versus dislike um, ratio on my on my videos in the last 28 days, which is awesome. That means that more people like than dislike. So also a reminder, you can give this video a thumbs up. Thumbs it up for at least me being brave enough to show off my analytics because I know that a lot of people are not brave enough and we're all curious, let's be honest. Now, my top videos in terms of watch time are actuary, 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 which means that if I were a smart professional YouTuber, I would see that and say, hey, you know what people like about your channel? Actuary videos. Now, I think I maybe have like, I definitely have less than 10 actuary videos on my channel and I have about 200 videos on my channel. And we can see that all my, my top viewed videos in the last 28 days are actuary videos. So that should give me a bit of a hint that I should probably make more actuary videos. If we look at the lifetime of my channel, uh, I don't think these numbers change very much. Yeah, it's still actuary, actuary, actuary. Ooh, my illegal lease. Actuary, Toronto versus Montreal. Basically, people like my actuary videos. Let's check the last seven days just for fun. Ooh, because I did a live stream that made it third in the last seven days. That's awesome. I should do more live streams or not. I don't know. I don't think people like my live... The people who watch my live streams like it, but I think the people who are just peripheral subscribers are not a huge fan. Moving into the revenue... Um, revenue tab of the um, Creator Studio app. I already showed you my estimated revenue for the last 28 days. We can see that um, I had 4,340 monetized playbacks. That means that not every view gets an ad. And also that might just be due to YouTube not showing an ad or it might be due to um, people having ad blockers. We can see that I have zero transactions on my channel, and if I go to my lifetime, you'll see that there's still zero transactions, which is just a little bit of proof that I've never actually gotten paid by YouTube. Um, if we look at the ad type, 76% of the revenue that I've earned is from skippable video ads. I believe that YouTubers have the option to choose which type of ads they show on their videos. I just leave the default settings when I turn on monetization. I don't monetize my live streams, but I do monetize my regular videos. And then again, if we look at my top earning videos, it's actuary, 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 which is another indication that maybe I should probably be making more actuary videos. Ugh. But I just worry that I'm going to get too niche. I don't know. Uh, if we look at the traffic source, where are people... Um, finding my videos. So 44% are coming from suggested videos. Shout out to the 2.8% of people who are coming from notifications. You guys are awesome for one, having notifications on and two, actually following the notification link to come to my channel. That's amazing of you guys and I love you. Um, let's go back. External sources. This makes me laugh. Like Google search, fine, super normal. Um, Google Docs means that someone put me in a Google Doc. Google Plus, who uses that? Facebook Messenger. And then if we scroll down, let's see, insuranceinstitute.ca. Don't know why I'm getting recommended there, but the one that makes me laugh the most is popthatzits.com. 0.1% of my external sources was popthatzits.com, and I don't know what video that links me to, and I don't know why that would be um, showing up at all. Um, side note, let me know in the comments because right now I'm just going through the Creator Studio app, but I know that um, in the actual analytics on the YouTube website, I get a lot more information. So leave a comment below if you'd want me to go through my analytics in the actual um, web browser analytics. Okay, back to search terms. So <laughs> search terms, how do people find me? Actuary, 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 Ellen, actuary, 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 actuary. Ooh, look. Some people are actually searching for me. That's cute. Landlord, blah, 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 mostly actuaries. I should either A, make my other videos more searchable or B, make more actuary videos. That's basically the trend is that people really like it. 
um, videos suggesting my content. What you'll see is the ones with the little eye in the circle, those are my own videos recommending other ones my own videos. And then the ones with the play buttons are other people's videos that are recommending mine. So again, actuaries. Uh, playlists, no one really cares. My audience. 71% of my audience is male. Now, that I can hypothesize as to why that is. I might think that maybe it's because of all the actuary views and that actuary is a mathy, male-dominated profession. It might also be because I'm a pretty girl. I don't know. You guys can leave a comment below and let me know um, if you think I'm pretty. That's a reasonable thing for me to ask of you guys. Um, most people who watch my videos are between the ages of 18 and 34, so you guys are like right in my age range. Also, you know, people who are considering um, an actuarial career are probably in the age range. I would imagine the 4.8% are people still in high school looking into different professions. Um, most of my views come from the United States, but there are some really random countries. Like, um, Barbados, Kenya, Trinidad and Tobago, Lebanon, Zimbabwe, Mauritius, Nepal, Pakistan. I'm not reading everything, but look at all these countries. That's insane to me because my channel, as much as, um, the nearly 3000 subscribers, I'm like about a hundred away from 3000 as I'm filming this, as much as that's a ton of people, it still blows my mind. I mean, there are people from Hungary and Cote d'Ivoire and Taiwan and Egypt. That's insane. Shout out to all you guys who are watching and in the United States, Canada, or United Kingdom, my top three countries. So, hey -o. Um, And then it looks like 1.2% of my views have subtitles in English, and I didn't even know my videos had subtitles enabled. So that's kind of cool and interesting. Uh, the last, oh, no, there's two other tabs. Interactive content. I'm really bad about putting cards on my videos. I'm pretty sure the reason why there are th only three here is because there might only be three videos of mine where I bothered to put cards. Um, do you guys like end cards? Let me know if you use them, if you're a YouTuber, if you don't. And then the last uh, tab that's over here, uh, we also have playlists. So looking at uh, playlists, not that exciting. I don't really use playlists that much and I don't really care for it. I probably should use it more, but I find YouTube autoplay very annoying. I turn that off because I like to be able to pick and choose my videos. And so because it's a feature I don't love, it's not a feature that I use so much. But do you guys like letting YouTube autoplay videos? Do you guys like playlists? Let me know that in the comments below. If we go back to my dashboard, um, you can see that we're done. That's it. Um, that's just a quickie overview that probably wasn't so quick of my analytics. Leave me a comment. It'll show up here. And then when I'm on the bus or the metro on my commute to work, which takes me about 45 minutes each way. So I really like getting comments so that I can talk to you guys and reply. And it gives me something to do. So... If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to see more of my face, shout out to you guys, and thank you, and I love you, have an awesome day, and um, thank you for calling. Bye!